Statement, Lord Chancellor and Secretary of State for Justice. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, thank you. Uh, with your permission, I would like to make a statement on the escape from HMP Wandsworth yesterday morning, Wednesday, the 6th of September, of a prisoner by the name of Daniel Abed Khalif. Daniel Khalif was remanded in custody at HMP Wandsworth on the 28th of January this year, having been charged with offences alleged to have taken place in 2021 uh, while he was serving in the armed forces. As you, Madam Deputy Speaker, have already indicated, the House will understand that while there is a live criminal investigation in progress, there are limits on what I can properly say. Daniel Khalif will be caught in due course and will face a trial. Nothing should be said in this House or elsewhere that might prejudice those proceedings. So let me assist the House with what I can say. At approximately 7.30 yesterday morning, a vehicle which had made a delivery to the prison's kitchen left HMP Wandsworth. Shortly afterwards, local contingency plans for an unaccounted prisoner were activated, and in line with standard procedure, the police were informed. The prison was put into a state of lockdown while staff attempted to determine Daniel Khalif's whereabouts. The vehicle was stopped and searched by police after the alert was raised. Strapping was found underneath the vehicle, which appeared to indicate that Daniel Khalif may have held onto the underside of it in order to escape. The search is underway. His Majesty's Prison and Probation Service are giving every assistance to the Metropolitan Police's operation to recapture Daniel Khalif and return him to custody. As has been made clear by the Metropolitan Police, there is no reason to believe he poses a threat to the wider public. Yesterday, when I was first briefed on this grave security breach, I spoke to the Governor of HMP Wandsworth and senior HMPPS leaders to establish what was known about the escape and seek assurances about the immediate measures being taken to ensure the security of the prison. I made clear then, and I reiterate now, that no stone must be left unturned in getting to the bottom of what happened. Who was on duty that morning? In what roles? Ranging from the kitchen to the prison gate, what protocols were in place? Were they followed? Second, I have ordered an investigation into the categorisation decision by HMPPS. Were all relevant matters taken into consideration in determining where in the custodial estate Daniel Khalif should be held? In both cases, I have asked for the preliminary findings to be with me by the end of this week, and an assessment will be made then about what can properly be put into the public domain. I have also decided there will need to be an additional independent investigation into this incident, and that will take place in due course. I want to turn, Madam Deputy Speaker, to the wider prisoner cohort held by HMPPS. In light of these events, I have ordered two urgent reviews. First, into the placement and categorisation of everyone held in HMP Wandsworth, and second, into the location of all those in the custodial estate charged with terrorism offences. Let me turn now to the issue of prison security. As the House will no doubt be aware, escapes from prison are extremely rare, and the numbers have declined substantially in the last 10 to 15 years. This has been due in considerable part to sustained investment in improved physical and intelligence security. That includes investment of £100 million in the period since 2019 on measures such as enhanced gate security with X-ray body scanners, which has driven up the fines of drugs, weapons and other contraband, including tools that could be used to aid in escape from prison. HMPPS has also enhanced intelligence and anti-corruption operations in prison, working more closely than ever with partners including the intelligence agencies. This has involved productive initiatives such as setting up the joint counter-terrorism prisons and probation hub. Madam Deputy Speaker, Daniel Khalif will be found and he will be made to face justice. I commend the statement to the House.